Well, I, w- I just want to push this point a little bit, sort of like trying to talk about the spiritual experience of wonder versus maybe the scientific experience. So if, I don't know, a classic religious story is Paul on the road to Damascus or Saul. You know, he has this overwhelming conversion experience, which I think we would call an experience of awe there. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, So you have something like that, and then you might have a scientist who discovers something truly amazing that just overturns the conventional thinking, just mind-blowing. Are those fundamentally the same kinds of experiences? To me, they are, right? So I I, I could imagine instead of Saul, Carl walking down the street and the clouds part and there's some massive flash of light and he feels awe. But instead of looking for a supernatural explanation for this event, he looks for scientific explanations for what just happened. So the nature of the the nature of the emotional experience is the same, regardless of whether it's Carl or or Saul or Paul. Um, but the consequences are are different depending on what kinds of explanations they gravitate towards. Lisa, what do you think? I think it gets very complicated because of how we use these terms, religion and science and spiritual. Um, I mean, it's certainly the case that that people like Richard Dawkins or E.O. Wilson are um, experiencing something that I would call religious. And and actually, Wilson is much more open to that. Dawkins really chafes at the idea that, you know, that that's... That, that the way that he speaks about science or wonder really is religion. Wait, explain what you why why do you, why are you saying that their experiences are actually religious? Because they can they feel in they're in the realm of something of ultimate significance of something sacred, um, something that is an object of reverence. Um, those are features of religion. So there are all kinds of um, religious affects and uh, rituals and things like this that occur in the seemingly secular world. <laughs> um, so I think that that kind of separation of the, the secular and the sacred or the secular and the religious doesn't actually hold in most of what how the world operates and how people operate. So we need to, part of the problem is we, we don't actually understand these words like religion. We, we have a a lot of us right. have a misconception of what religion is. Well, and I think scientists, I mean, Einstein, um, preeminent scientists saw art and religion and, and science as branches of the same tree. And I'd argue at the root of, of them is awe and wonder and that, that emotion that stimulates discovery um, and, you know, spiritual contemplation and artistic expression. So, you know, I think many scientists would see the similarities there. And I think that, um, that you're right, that, that mm-hmm. there's some very strong voices with um, particular opinions, but there are perhaps more similarities than differences.